Carolina, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another Halloween tutorial. This time it's a glam devil makeup look. At first I didn't like how it came out. I pictured it completely different in my head, but I grew on it and I really like it now. So I hope you guys do too. If you wanna see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. So I'm gonna start this look off by applying some foundation and I'm just using a beauty blender to apply that on my skin. It's important to add just a little bit of foundation at a time and gradually add more just so it doesn't get too cakey and you actually have control over how much you're putting on your face. I'm sorry I look weird. I have this weird bump on my eye that appeared a few days ago and yeah, I don't know what to do about it. But now I'm just taking some bronzer and just contouring my face it's more than okay to go heavy on the contour with this look since we're doing a devil look it's good to have like sharp features so I'm just gonna make it like really dark I'm also taking that and contouring my temples and under my chin Then I'm just taking a white powder from my contour kit and applying that under my contour just to make it a little bit sharper and make my cheekbones look a little bit higher than usual. Now I'm going to take this palette and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with a dark brown shade since I'm going for a full face of makeup it doesn't really matter if we have really dark brows. Actually it's probably the best for this look to make this look a little bit more dark, evil, and a little bit mean. Now taking my Morphe 35O palette, I'm just going to take this orangey red shade and apply that all over my crease and start blending it out. And now I'm just going to do the other eye off camera just to save some time. Now taking this palette, it's just a drugstore palette, I'm taking this red shade and just blending that into the previous shade a little bit lower than before. It's critical that you blend it out pretty well just to make it seem more seamless and gradient. Now I'm taking this palette from NYX, I'm taking the darkest shade and just applying that on my crease a little bit lower than before once again and blending that out on the previous shade. I'm going back with the same Morphe palette and taking a really dark brown shade, applying that all over my lids and blending it out again. And now for the final touch, I'm taking the same palette I used to fill in my eyebrows. I'm taking the black color and putting that over the brown and just blending. So I did have a lot of fallout from the black shade, so I'm just taking my foundation and running that over using a beauty blender. I'm 
Once that's done, I'm taking the black shade and just applying that under my lash line. With the same palette we used before, I'm taking the red and blending that out with the black just to make it more devilish, you know? Make it look like it's bruised. Now I'm just curling my lashes and putting on some mascara to finalize the look. You could also go with eyeliner, but I didn't want to take a risk with this video because I suck at eyeliner, so I did it after I recorded it, and you guys won't get to see that unless you go check out my Instagram, so yeah. Now I'm taking this dark red lip gloss, applying that to the back of my hand, and just mixing it with black eyeshadow. The red is just really to give a base and make it to a consistency that looks like lipstick and that I'm able to apply it on my lips but the whole idea of this is to actually get it black Once that is done, I'm taking the same red lip gloss and making blood drip from my lips and then I'm just blending it out with my fingers putting it in random places you you can just really have fun with this it looks different for everyone just do whatever you like with it so after i do that i'm taking a thin brush taking some mascara and making an upside down cross on my face this is totally optional it's really up to you whether you want to do this step or not Now I'm taking the same red lip gloss, I'm just going to add some personality to this cross and apply blood all over it. You can just have fun with this once again, just apply it however you want to. And there you have it, this is the completed Clam Devil makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see more videos from me, then let me know in the comments down below but other than that comment subscribe do whatever you have to do i'll see you guys in my next video